Hello everyone and welcome back to another Geometry Dash video. Today I'm going to be creating a ton of different gauntlets. I had a couple of ideas and I didn't really want to do the same constant episode after episode type thing like I was doing the last time that I did these gauntlet videos. But this is the last and final gauntlet creation video that I will be doing on my channel. The reason for that is because RobTop is consistently releasing these new gauntlets and I want to start reserving my Geometry Dash uploads for those gauntlets in general. So this is the third and final episode. I'm going to be creating five different gauntlets in this video. I'm going to be covering my selections for Temple, Curse, Force, Mystery, and the Potion gauntlet. So let's get into it. Starting with the Temple Gauntlet, I wanted to focus on the Temple Gauntlet being a pretty challenging one, but not necessarily being too challenging at all. What I wanted for this one was for it to be more seven to eight star levels than anything. And I think for the Temple selections that I chose, I hit exactly that mark. There is only one level within this Temple selection that is easy and it's the first level. So. Here are my selections for the Temple Gauntlet. The second gauntlet that I put together was the Curse Gauntlet. I wanted this one to focus again on the 6 to 8 star, maybe even going into 9 star difficulty across the entirety of the gauntlet. For me, it didn't seem a little bit right to make the Curse Gauntlet any harder than 9 star. But that's mainly because I feel like a lot of the harder levels should be reserved for things like the Haunted Gauntlet or the Spooky Gauntlet. Both of which could be filled to the brim with demon levels, especially since there's a lot of Halloween themed demons out there. But for the curse selections in particular, I wanted to focus on levels that fit the curse theme and also just had very cursed gameplay.
Next up is the Force Gauntlet. This one I wanted entirely to be fast-paced gameplay, and I did not want to hold back on difficulty. I wanted to try to keep everything at least an easy demon rating. However, I found one level that I thought was just about as challenging, and it's only an 8-star. So these are the selections that I chose for my version of the Force Gauntlet. Up next, I chose the Mystery Gauntlet. This one, I wanted it to be a complete surprise what five levels I chose, but I didn't want there to be any specific theme that I chose for this. I wanted this to be either a very mysterious level or a very bright and colorful level. That is the whole point in my eyes of it being a Mystery Gauntlet is you never know what's gonna be in it. So that's exactly what I did. I found five great levels that I thought were really cool, combined them together, and I said, yep, that's my mystery gauntlet right there.
last but not least, I focused on the Potion Gauntlet. This one I did not want to be difficult at all. I wanted this one to be within the three to seven star rating. I wanted to try to find something at least around the six star at a maximum, but I did end up finding some other levels that I thought were really, really well designed. So starting off, these are the levels that I had for the Potion Gauntlet. And that is all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching my version of creating five different gauntlets in Geometry Dash. Like I said, this is my last time doing this. I will have all of these gauntlet selections available on my profile, Desert HD, for all of you to play in-game if you guys want to go and try out these levels yourself. That is all from me. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in the next Geometry Dash Gauntlet video where I will hopefully be completing the gauntlet. The water gauntlet almost got me this last time, but we'll see what happens. Till then, see you next time.